The Port of Los Angeles is the largest container port in the United States. So no matter where you live in the United States, you have things that you wear in your home that came through our port complex. I would say about a decade ago, the ports weren't even acknowledging that they created uh, an air pollution problem for local residents. We've seen higher rates of childhood asthma, uh, cancer clusters, um, uh, premature deaths linked to uh, diesel pollution that's created by all the ships and trucks and trains and that visit our ports daily. They actually produce more smog-forming pollution than all six million cars in the region when all of a sudden it was um, shown that we could be affecting human health, that's when the whole thing changed. That's when expansion at this port came to a grinding halt. We realized we're gonna have to eliminate health risk of port operations on the community. And ever since that time, I think the port and NRDC have been able to move together more collaboratively in trying to address uh, the air pollution problem there. A ship that sits at the berth spews out a ton of emissions a day. If we hook them to shoreside electrical power, there's a huge savings in emissions for the local community. We have reduced the emissions from trucks coming in and out of this port by 80%. So what is the truck of the future? It's an all-electric truck with enough battery life that it can operate in port drayage and not be disruptive to our customers' business. We are also in the process of installing solar panels on everything that's flat in the port. Working with our neighboring port in Long Beach, we built the first um, hybrid tugboat ever in the world, and it is in this port in operation. At the end of 2008, we had reduced the emissions of sulfur oxides by 32% and diesel particulates by 19%. That we could allow a port customer to grow, to double their volume, but essentially produce less pollution in the future than they are today with a much lower volume. We've shown that it can